<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ghouls and goblins and monsters of the night, to Let's Play Dead Christmas Special. Okay, it's not really a Christmas special because I'm recording this on Christmas, but there is nothing to do with Christmas in this video, and by the time you see it, it will be December 26th. So there's really nothing that makes this a Christmas special, but I just thought you would like to know that I'm recording for you on Christmas morning all the same because I love all of you. So anyway, let's get to uh, killing. Uh, I'm going to send this flamethrower down the river. And uh, we are going to have to go retrieve it after we put it into a baler so that we can actually get into the crate. It all seems really, really obnoxious and sort of far-fetched. I don't know why I have to use a baler to open that crate with all the items lying around. You'd think I could have just found, like, uh, what's the word? Uh, not a, what am I trying to say? Like a tire iron or something? Not a tire iron. What am I trying to say? What's that word? Uh, a... A, a crowbar. That's that's what I was trying to think of. Like, you think you could have just found a crowbar laying somewhere? That's okay. We're just gonna go back in here. We'll say hi to Barry as we go by. Hey, Barry. Barry! You son of a bitch. Damn it, I knew it was Barry. It was Barry the whole time. Barry's an evil son of a bitch. I shouldn't have been fooled when he fixed that door. Ah, uh, we were idiots to believe him. All those times he saved us from certain death but why would Barry do this why would he save us and risk his life by getting caught up by a giant plant and shooting it with fire and why would he repair a door and give us all of these first aid sprays just to leave us for dead something smells fishy maybe not all is what it seems to be hey look it's our crate Okay, so we're gonna push this thing down here. It takes like a thousand hours. So do you guys have any Christmas traditions? My favorite Christmas tradition is actually doing nothing. Like for every Christmas, and I mean, it's a lot of people travel. Like they, they go far and wide to visit their families and do all that sort of thing. And my family was always very, very far away. So if they weren't flying into my house, we were usually just at at my house, like, or, you know, or we didn't see family. So, probably stemmed from when I was a little kid. You know, you wake up, you get your presents, and then you just sit around the entire day and play with them. Now that I'm 25, I like to do pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I, you know, um, my tradition is to hang out and just have a nice, relaxing day off. Okay, we have a broken flamethrower, but it's okay. We don't need it to work. We just need it to unlock a door. Oh, I missed a clip. Handgun magazine. I still think I'm such an idiot for being like 13 and I thought that like they were talking about an actual handgun like magazine. Like a, a book that had guns in it. I was like, I don't understand what they're talking about. It's not a magazine. Ah, uh, I didn't know. Alright, we got a- nope. <laughs> there is a Lisa Trevor that way. We are so close to getting out of this mansion. Getting out of this cave. Forever. Matter of fact, I'm certain that we will be out of this cave on today's episode. For we only have two episodes left after this one. Alright, she is behind us, so we can pull this lever. And we may or may not run into her on the way down there. It's going to be close. We will see. We can just run the full way around. Ah, oh, shit, she came that way. She called my bluff. Dang, oh my god, one hit took me down to a red caution. An orange caution. Oh, man. That is not productive. Let's get the hell out of here. No more Lisa Trevor for us. Oh, yeah, this is her, like, room. This is where she's been staying. This is, like, the single coolest looking room in the game, in my opinion. With, like, the bricks and the candles and everything. It's so creepy. It's like all these old dolls hanging around. 
They're all faded and worn. Uh, and then we have to go through the water. I don't want to. Okay. I think there might be snakes down here. Oh god, always the snakes. This freaking game. It's okay though, because as we all know, snakes can't go on land. So now that I'm here, I'll be fine. Oh, there's a knife on the bed. Another defensive weapon. And the whole reason we came down here. This box. This jewelry box of ours. It's not necessary. Can we examine it? And there it is. The stone ring. So now we have a stone ring and we have a metal object. Ooh, family pictures and notes. There's something written on the back. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica administered Tyrus foot type A. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Ah, oh, so, yeah. so they killed Jessica Trevor, which is Lisa's mom. Lisa administered virus type B. Virus fusion. Positive but delayed fusion. Body modification. Observe constant results. Status. Continue protective observation. George. Action. Terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? Yes, Jessica. And Lisa. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. That's creepy. I got mom's face back. <laughs> Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away because mom said sad when I meet her. Oh god. Um, from inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Okay, so they killed her mom and they like put her in a coffin and then they had this fake like actress i guess or somebody pretending to be her mom so that she would be cooperative but then i guess as the virus started to twist her more and more she rebelled and and evidently killed that woman and took her face i mean god So now her mom's in a coffin, and she can't see her or get to her because of a steel rope, which I'm assuming is a chain. Oh, look, we're back here. Ta-da! And as you will soon see when we get there, there are four very large stones in the way, uh, blocking the coffin lid from be uh, becoming open. So now we have these two items we can combine, and we have two stone and metal objects. Oh, this is the time, everybody. This is what the entire game has been culminating towards, really. We are going to get both of these objects, and we are going to go put them to their true purpose, which is to unlock a door. First we got to do this. Yes. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we have to go get the other uh, object because um, it is still in the slot that is holding the, the door to the outside open. But that's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we had to leave it there. Okay, so we'll have to go get that, and then we'll have two, and then we'll put them in, and everything will be fine and jolly. Because it's Christmas. Nah, I'm not going to take those green herbs now. I haven't taken them yet, and I'm not going to start now. I think there's a zombie down here. Isn't there a crimson head here now? Because we killed that zombie earlier. I think. Yep, there he is. Oh, fuck. Ah, running away. You can't catch me. <laughs> Come on, zombie, sing Christmas carols with me. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Ow. <laughs> that is not how we jingle bell rock. <laughs> That's okay. We had fun. We ran around and played in the snow. 
We sang Christmas carols, and then I blew your head off. Good memories. Oh, headshot with a handgun. That was sweet. Bam. Bam. Blap. 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 You are the fattest fucking bullet sponge ever, but you're dead now. Or are you? Oh my god, you took one more. Jesus. Just put like a whole clip into you. 13 bullets to kill this zombie. Like, freaking super zombie. What's up with this? You know, even though we don't see any zombies come up out of the graves in this game, I can only assume that that's where these zombies came from. How else? I guess they could have wandered and got past the gate, but... We're in a cemetery. It's a lot cooler to, to assume that they just burst out of the ground and came to kill me. Ah, oh, man. This has been an exhilarating game. I missed it. But we're so close now. Um... Let's see, we need to... Yes, grab this. Oh man, I kind of want to see if I can do a speed run of this game now. I know my time on this isn't great. It's probably like, average. But I want to see if I can get it down to like, you know, the absolute lowest time. I think the best I ever did was like five hours. This is a quicker way back. We can take this uh, cemetery shortcut. I guess it's not really a shortcut at all, but it felt like it. Oh yeah, I forgot about one other room. Huh, okay, I'll show you the secret in a minute. All right, um, stone and metal object, bam. And bam, see, that's their intended purpose. I wonder what's on the other side of this door. Me too. Well, actually, I don't wonder, I know. <clears throat> and that's the whole point of this game, was to get to this room. This is the entrance. This is the entrance to the entrance to the, <laughs> the secret lab. We have saved 11 times in this game. That's probably going to increase even more. We have a very convenient item box here. So we'll get rid of ink ribbons and we're actually gearing up right now for a fight. And it, it shouldn't be too much of a fight if we make the correct choices. So primarily what I'm concerned with uh, is uh, health objects, because we don't actually need to fight this boss. That boss being Lisa Trevor. I am going to take these books because this is the key to the lab. And we'll take another first aid spray in case we get uber hurt for some crazy reason. Get this ready. Okay, so we're all good. Let's do it. Man, I'm gonna have to cut it off right before. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's okay, you'll see it in the next episode. We'll just leave it as a cliffhanger. So, uh, thanks for watching Let's Play Dead Resident Evil episode whatever we're on, 18. And yeah. I just want to let everybody know that I love you all and I enjoy that you guys are enjoying this with me. So remember to go over, watch Horror Show Theater, like our channel, subscribe, like our videos, do all that good stuff. Whatever it is you want to do, just go out and do it. Because you all are beautiful. And I think I'm going to cut it off right as we go down the ladder. That would be hilarious. What a dick move, Paul. Dick move.